Welcome to GabNet. This is a GabNet shorty, or we, I don't have a name for it. It's just I come on here uh, once a day, do a very short piece and tell you what the headlines are of the day, maybe show you a clip of last night's show and a few other things, and then we're out of here. Just to remind you that we are here with GabNet. You can go over to GabNet.net to get all the uh, information on our channel. Uh, Here's the news for today. Less than one in three Americans agrees with Donald Trump's decision to pull the United States out of an agreement to limit Iran's nuclear program. That's according to a Reuters IPSOS national opinion poll released on Tuesday. The poll conducted May 4 to 5th ahead of the Republican presidential announcement to end the deal found that 29 percent of adults wanted to end the deal with Iran and five other world powers. But another 42 percent said the United States should remain in the deal. Another 28 percent said they just didn't know. And uh, by the way, they should be ineligible to vote because they're too stupid because they don't follow the news. Um, the state attorney general Patrick Morrissey, who most of you don't know, won the Republican U.S. Senate nomination in West Virginia Tuesday, beating former coal executive Don Blankenship, who a lot of you do know, and claiming, uh, calming the fears of party leaders who thought that the brash ex-convict would be the nominee of the Republican Party, although being an ex-con, he qualifies as a, <laughs> as a candidate. North Korea has released uh, three American prisoners uh, who've been there for quite a while and handed them over to U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on Wednesday, clearing a major obstacle to an unprecedented summit between President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. He got what he needed out of those three prisoners, by the way, which was a deal, right? I mean, do you think Kim Jong-un wanted to give up those people until he had some reason to give them up? And now that he's gotten rid of them, hell, it's three less mouths to feed in what is a starving country. Donald Trump's nominee to head the CIA promised lawmakers Wednesday she'd never resume a program of harsh interrogations often denounced as torture and has been a major issue complicating her confirmation. Gina Haspel, currently the spies agency acting director, told the Senate confirmation hearing that she would not carry out an order for Donald Trump that she found morally objectionable. She was also accused of uh, uh, engaging in uh, torture uh, when she was at another position in the CIA and of destroying tapes of that torture, but she claimed that she destroyed the tapes to maintain the security uh, of the people who were doing the torturing. So uh, she, uh, she didn't say the people who did the torturing, she said CIA operatives. So uh, it makes a little bit of sense, not much. Torture is still torture. Uh, Ford Motor Company's imported vehicles are being held up at Chinese ports. Congratulations, uh, Donald Trump. Your trade bill is working just fine. And finally, in the news portion of our program, uh, we have to show you this picture. Yes, that's Mitt Romney and his wife, and they were at the Mitt, Met, uh, the Met Gala last night. Uh, or was it the night before? The night before, I believe. Um, the Met Gala on Monday, yeah. Uh, and uh, he looks great, doesn't he? Yeah. You know what he's wearing? He's wearing a Briani tuxedo, size 40 long. You know where he bought it? On Amazon. That's correct, ladies and gentlemen. That's an Amazon tuxedo. And finally, let's go to last night and check in to see what happened with our citizens panel and what they were talking about. Jack? Yep. What does this do to our credibility around the world as far as being a diplomatic party? How do you how do you go into how do you go into the meeting with Trump, uh, with uh, uh, Mr. Un, uh, Kim Jong Un, and and have him to expect that anything you say you will live up to? Tell yeah. me how he's going to do that, Phil. Yeah, I'll tell you how he's going to do it. Yeah. He's going to show him how strong we are, and he's going to oh, show yeah. Kim yeah. Jong Un. And that's going to scare him. Show him how strong we are. Oh, Step out into the rose garden with two nine millimeters and blow each other's son of a bitch in the heads off. That's the real American way. It's time yeah. to bring back dueling like we used to have. <laughs> Yes, and that's uh, from last night's uh, citizen panel. By the way, in case you don't know what a citizen panel is, that is a citizen panel. We don't just talk to one person at a time. It's a whole gangbang of people. And you can see it every single night, Monday or Tuesday through Friday, right at GabNet. 
net, or you can go to youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett, B-O-L-O-B-E-N-N-E-T-T forward slash live. That's youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live. And it, by the way, if you bring that up in your, uh, in your browser, you can then make it a tab and it will always be there. And as you notice, there's a countdown to the time when we go on the air. Listen, we have a lot of fun with it and I think you'll enjoy the program. Or you can get it in any other number of places after the show. It's on my Facebook page. It's on my YouTube page. Uh, and it's, uh, it's at gabnet.net. Yes, that's where it is. And also on our Roku channels. Roku uh, uh, has, a, uh, has a, a GabNet channel. So if you have Roku, put it on there. Anyway, that's it uh, for right now. Uh, while you're at YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. It will really be very, very helpful. And thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow with another shorty.